Hello everybody and welcome to the anniversary party of the year where we've all gathered here today to celebrate Rob and Pam. Now many of you that I've spoken to this afternoon may think it's a little bit strange that the events planner is giving you the introduction today but I may have accidentally told a little white lie. While I have helped Rob and Pam plan this event, I am actually an authorised celebrant and I'm here today to conduct a very special ceremony. Rob and Pam have spent months planning a surprise vow renewal for you all today and it gives me the greatest pleasure to bring them both up here this afternoon to share this special moment with you. Introducing Rob and Pam. Okay, so my name is Sam Honeyset and I'm a civil celebrant conducting the renewal of vows ceremony here today. What an absolute honour and privilege this is to be able to recommit these two wonderful souls together today with all of you as their witnesses. This story has been many years in the making and they've chosen only their nearest and dearest to be here by their side. They've told me that it means the absolute world to them to have such an amazing support network. Each of you have shared some significant moment with Rob and Pam at some stage of their lives and now you're all here to show your love and support for them and their marriage as you have for all of these years. So I'd like to welcome you all here, not only as Pam and Rob, not only to witness Pam and Rob's commitment to each other, but to also wish them well and every happiness as their lives move together forward today. Now many of you would know Rob and Pam's love story. They met through Rob's cousin Jamie who set them up on a blind date 52 years ago. Even though Pam was a little bit younger than Rob, Jamie just knew that these two were meant to be. They described them as being two soulmates who were absolutely needed to be brought together. And right she was because 50 years later here we are renewing the vows of Rob and Pam that they first made to each other on their first wedding date. The last 50 years have brought the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, and yet no matter what, Rob, no matter what, the love Rob and Pam have for each other has never wavered. They welcomed their two beautiful children, Tony and Kate, who have since gone on to give them five gorgeous grandchildren who are all here today. For the last 48 years, Rob and Pam have walked the same route every morning from Bondi Beach to Bronte Beach, right where we are today. This has been a treasured pastime for the both of them and something that they both look forward to, even on the cold and windy mornings. During these walks, it has given them both time to connect, come up with ideas for new businesses, or where they can take their family on the next holiday. They've shared the joys and blessings, and yes, the challenges of married life for 50 years. And on this day, you are both here to reaffirm your commitment to working together and making your marriage grow and blossom over all the years to come. I know you want to get out. May this ceremony, renewing the vows you took to become husband and wife on your wedding day, remind you that despite the stresses that are inevitable in every life, your love... Your love, respect, trust and understanding of each other will continue to increase and your love and heighten your joy in living. I'd now like to ask Tony and Kate and their five children to come up the front for us to participate in the sand ceremony. There are nine different coloured jars of sand sitting up here on the table and a beautiful vase that Pam purchased on their honeymoon 50 years ago. It has seen many different houses, lots of display cabinets and even dodged the odd football from when the grandkids have been running around the house. As you all come up here together today, I want you to pick up your jar and begin pouring some sand into the vase. As you each take turns, I want you to think about the love you have for one another and how no matter what happens, you will always be united as a family. This sand symbolises the unity and the coming together of this family for yesterday, today and all of your tomorrows. Take a moment to be with each other and remind one another how much you truly mean to each other. Thank you. Okay, now for the important part. While we are not going to be saying the traditional vows today, as these, as these two have already done that, Rob and Pam have both written some personal vows that they wish to share with each other today. Rob, I believe you're going first. 
And you have been my, you have been my best friend, playmate, confident, and my greatest challenge over the last 50 years. But most importantly, you are the love of my life and you make me happier than I could ever imagine and more love than I ever thought possible. You have made me a better person and I cannot imagine what my life would have been like if I had never met you. We have shared a beautiful life together and I could never thank you enough for loving me the way you do. I will love you forever. Hey, it's your turn now. 50 years ago, I made a promise to love, cherish and honour you until the day I die. I have continued to keep that promise because you are the other half of me, the person that makes me want to get up every morning, the person who has supported, loved and honoured me for all of these years. You gave me our beautiful and beautiful children and I can't thank you enough. Today I vow to keep making the courage of a morning, getting up to, the, getting up to walk to Bronte every day and to keep loving you more and more each minute. You are my best friend, soulmate, and my forever. Aww. Beautiful. So Pam and Rob have decided to present each other with a new ring today to symbolize their never ending commitment to each other. They wanted to commemorate a, be a beautiful moment from their original wedding and to reaffirm their original commitment to one another. So here we go. Rob. Do you, Robert Andrew Tiles, take Pamela Jane Tiles to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you promise to have and to hold her from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. You now have to place the thing. Oh, Pam, you need to place the finger on Rob's. What's the ring? The ring on Rob's finger. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Pam, do you, Pamela Jane Tiles, take Robert Andrew Tiles to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Do you promise to have and to hold him from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do you part? I do. Pam and Rob, it is with great pleasure that I announce you husband and wife again. Woo! Woo! You may now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> now will everyone please stand up and join me in congratulating this incredible couple here today, Mr. and Mrs. Tiles. Woo!